Good morning, welcome back to the 217 Naturals channel. In this video, I'm going to be decorating my Christmas tree and we're going to go over the Midwest winter holiday collection. My review, of course, on some of the my favorites that I chose from the collection. And yeah, so it is literally 5.52 a.m. and I've already started decorating. These I got from at home. So these are the ribbons I used on the tree. This is like a, a white with a little bit of glitter. This one is a gold, of course, with a glitter. And this one is a winter frost. So I wanted to put a little silver in there to get the traditional colors. This is how it's looking so far. It looks so pretty, guys. Um, I'm going to give you an overall a view of the Christmas trees because it's kind of damn in my living room which that's how I like it really early in the morning and the house is quiet and this is kind of like my me time. So these are some of the um, toppers that I chose for the tree. I really wanted a pompous but of course Amazon was late getting me my stuff. So um, this I got last year and so um, it was in one of my vases so I just kind of pulled them apart and I'm going to use them as a topper for my tree. This I got last year, too. This is really pretty. Got this from Dollar, was it? Dollar Tree. As well as these and these, all from last year. So I'm going to use those as toppers. Different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by. Losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? a purplish blue this is so pretty so i'm also going to put these as accent pieces on the tree look at that these are so pretty would you love me better if i go i'm not home i want to know can we try 
shells guys no shells you don't want to eat shells in your cornbread okay so yeah like this simple as so get you a measuring cup here you go <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> let me talk about my life even though she's probably gonna edit this out it's fine um <laughs> so hey guys my name is genesis and i'm 16 so and know, it is the day before thanksgiving liquid is different cup than dry ingredients so when it says a cup of no milk, then you use this. My birthday is January 21st. For anybody wanting you know, to know, dry and you use yeah, measure. So they just letting you put your own. Oh. So guys, we're just gonna. So we're making a eyes. dressing. I'm teaching these girls to make dressing. Huh. Even though I don't like dressing, but whatever. <laughs> I will never need to know how to make this because I, I never <laughs> make it. So just you want to eat something today? <laughs> well, tomorrow. All right. Yes. All right, 12, 12, 6. Okay, and we have the oven preheating at 400. All right, I'm the person who cleans this right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't see that over there on the side? Oh, no. See, that's my blind spot. You got to go ahead and hit that. Boom. Then. More cornbread? Go for um, to go with the greens. Because it don't be a lot, but here, just add do one more. That's what we'll do. Okay, we'll leave it. That's just three boxes. <laughs> and just add another egg right here.
have some free time to myself and so i'm going to get this review done i'm going to give you my honest opinion of the midwest fragrance oil winter collection so i think it was like let me see how many one two three four five six i think it was like 10 of them Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it was ten fragrances that they launched. Um, it was like a mini, um, mini like two ounce bottles. So I'm gonna go over them and get them all out. I have some extra ones too. Like I need to put those to the side. I've been meaning to get this review done. <laughs> Um, but I've been working on my, of course, Black Friday. Um, and then I also have a winter or a holiday market that I'll be in. So I've been working on my candles for that event. I don't think this is part of it either. Okay, I think we're all good to go. Okay, so there is 10 fragrances. Now let's start off with the cashmere sugar i'm gonna pull the notes up on this one so the cashmere sugar says that it has this is it come on and focus why doesn't my camera want to okay there we go cashmere sugar so it has notes of jasmine pink peppercorn which is really popular this year um, pink pepper it's got poppy tea rose petals, golden soft amber, soft cotton. This is really like a lot of different notes. Cashmere musk, sun-kissed suede, and spun sugar. This one is definitely going to be in my collection. I love cashmere, and I think fragrance, I mean, Midwest Fragrance did a really good job of blending them, even though it's got so many different notes. They're all uniquely blended together i definitely can smell the tea rose petal and the amber soft cotton i don't know what sunkissed suede smells like i don't know what suede smells like but this smells really good cashmere sugar for me probably a nine a nine out of ten for me Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is the Champagne Toast. Champagne Toast. I've already smelled this one, so. I have the Champagne Fragrance Oil from Brambleberry. Brambleberry is a really good one. That's the one I first, when I first started making candles, I used Brambleberry a lot. They're a little pricey, but really good, high quality fragrance. But y'all, this one is definitely going to be my New Year's candle. It smells so good. The Brambleberry one is kind of strong. Like when I say you only need a, that's all you need of it because it's it really smells like champagne and it's really, really potent. But the notes on this one is sparkling champagne juicy tangerine and i definitely smell the champagne in a tangerine that's the top notes white nectarine i definitely smell the pink passion fruit and hibiscus sugar just enough not too sweet just like a good um champagne a fruity champagne and vanilla musk 10 out of 10 for me this one is definitely going into my collection my winter collection um the next one is a smoked cedar and oud oh man this this thing does not want to focus okay smoke cedar and oud i love oud and i like cedar i don't know too much about being smoked When I first smelled this, guys, I was like, oh my God, this is hideous. I did not like this. But let me tell you, this has white clove, black pepper. I can definitely smell the spearmint and the clove. 
I'm not sure what black pepper smells like. Because <laughs> when I try to smell black pepper, it makes me sneeze. The, de the depth of the oud is definitely in there. It has a smoky scent and cedar wood. I can smell all of that. It also has vetiver and dark patchouli, which patchouli I like. Dark, uh, not so much. Golden amber. This one has been really good, has been a really good seller. Um, they're actually sold out. Last time I looked, they were sold out of this fragrance. Um, so it says uh, uh, Renishuous Resin. Can't even say it. Res <laughs> resinous. I can't say it, guys. Anyway, relaxing woody blend, and it's definitely woody. Um, true smoke cedar and ambers and oud ambers. Cause I can smell the oud in it. Highlighted with warm notes of clove, cedar wood, and spearmint on a base of patchouli and amber. If you like all of the notes that I just named, you probably are going to really, really like this fragrance. This cedar or smoke cedar and oud. I'm going to have to blend it with some other things. Um, they are really, really good about giving you suggestions on, you know, to blend, what to blend it with. Um, like, people are just, the reviews, people are just like, smells well, it's got good hot throat. Um, my customers love it. So I think it's just the, one of those scents that either you like it or you don't. Um, but right now, it's kind of no for me. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, and the next one is Queen of Night. Those first two actually are doing really good too. It's like the, uh, the cashmere and the champagne, the cashmere sugar and the champagne toast really is like a good seller for a Midwest fragrance company, I think. Um, this Queen of Night, I actually like it because I'm still trying to narrow down and find a, a good fragrance just like a, for my brand. I just need a signature one. I like masculine scents, but I want it to be unisex. I have made in my mind, I want it to be unisex and all year round. But this one I really like. It says it's um, the queen of the night fragrance oil is a bold, beautiful accord inspired by mesmerizing queen of night flower. Highlighted by notes of black plum, which I definitely smell the black plum. It's one of the top notes in this, Lily of the Valley. And um, the, I didn't even know there was a note, Queen of the Night. Um, white Jasmine Petals and Lang Lang. And I love Lang Lang. Um, dark Patchouli is in this as well. White Sandalwood and Cedarwood. So I like this Queen of the Night. Um, I, I think about, I'm thinking about blending it with something else to come up with my signature fragrance, but I do like it. Um, I would definitely probably give it a 7 out of 10. So the next one is Cosmic. No, 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 not Cosmic. It is Bite Me. So I think pretty much everybody knows, like, this is a, a really popular fragrance for, for uh, candle makers, Bite Me. Um, it has lemon, lime, pineapple effervescent sparkling orange zest and it gives me a champagne ish type of vibe by me is i don't know people really really love this fragrance it's only one review on the on the site for this one at this time but it has the base notes of black cherry strawberry and vanilla so it's it's definitely you know it's a, i can see why it's popular um you know i'll think about it I would say probably a six, six out of, out of 10. So the next one is moon, Midnight Moonflower. This one is a mysterious uh, blend of blossoms, Turkish rose, neroli, and moonflowers, highlighted with hints of wild lilac, white musk, and warm sandalwood. Ugh, I y'all when i tell you i don't know what it is about this but they say it's it's um from my understanding it reminds it's a reminder of a bath and body work but 
I'm just not a fan of it, guys. I, the, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's something weird about It's probably the moonflower. And that's probably what I don't like because the top note is moonflower. Nectar, neroli, that's what it is. I'm not a big fan of neroli. A lot of women and a lot of people like neroli, but I'm not a fan of neroli. It has orange blossom, wild lilac leaves, lang lang and Turkish rose, and then sugar tuberose with white musk, sandalwood, and guaca wood. Never, I'm curious about that one. Definitely a no for me. If you guys like that scent, you might want to try it out, but it's definitely a no for me. I'm curious about what is guaya, gua Wood. I have to look that up. The next one is Luminous Honey. And Luminous Honey is a warm and inviting blend of luscious acai honey, pink peach nectar, and sweet mandarin, highlighted with notes of gardenia blossom, white clover, and sugared violas on a base of warm vanilla and soft woody musk. I like this one, I really do. Although it only has one review, but it's a five-star review. Um, it has top notes of acai honey. I can definitely smell the peach nectar. I love peach. Orange mandarin, and then middle notes of gardenia, a blossom, rose water, and sugar violas, violas white clover, vanilla sandalwood, and sweet musk. I'm gonna give this the throw is not that strong though. To me, it seems like you would definitely, in a candle, you would for sure have to use 10%, but I was thinking about a nice sugar scrub or soap, maybe even body butter, but if you like a light scent, um, this honey is, is good for that. So I would say probably a seven, seven out of 10. And, you know, candle I may not do in a candle because it's just, I like for my candles to be strong, honey, strong. The next one is Cosmic Berry. Cosmic Berry. It is um, original fragrance. It's whimsical, playful, accord, a beauty berry, blackberry, raspberry, highlighted and uplifted by notes of smooth coconut, delicate florals, and sugared musk. Is definitely giving berry vibes. Definitely giving berry vibes. If you a person that loves berries, it's definitely giving it. You know, it only has four stars out of five out of the three reviews, which is still not bad. But I think it just depends on your taste. If you're a person that likes berries, then you're gonna love it. Um, it has top notes of beauty berry, apple peel, blackberry jam, and lemon zest. And I can smell all of those in this. Um, and the middle notes is shaved coconut, sweet raspberry, white jasmine. Base note is sugar musk and white amber. For a berry scent, I'm gonna give this a nine because it's, it's got a punch. You're gonna definitely smell the berry. If you're looking for a berry scent, I would recommend trying that Cosmic Berry. Um, the next one is a raspberry tart. It has almost five star review. <sighs> okay. It is charming, indulgent, and blend ripe of raspberries, tart, berry medley, and brown sugar over creamy custard and vanilla based. So top notes, melted butter. I can smell that. Orange zest. I definitely can smell the orange zest as well. Um, I'm looking at my, my laptop, guys, reading the notes on this. I'm so sorry if I haven't been, I know it can be annoying. Um, but tart berries, I could definitely smell that. Brown sugar, yeah. Creamy custard base note with sparkling musk and vanilla whip. I would give this one probably about a seven. Um, I like this raspberry custard, custard, and I'm really thinking about adding it to my champagne toast. I like this one. I really, really like this one. And last but not least is their baby powder scent. This baby powder scent 
as we all know, is nostalgic. I love the smell of baby powder. I love it on my grand, excuse me, on my grandbabies. I love it. I don't know. It's just something. It's the oud, I think, and and uh, I don't know. It's just soft, and I think it would make a good. No, oh, what's going on here? Excuse me, guys. I think it would go really, really good with as a bath bomb. Top notes: ozone, geranium, orange blossom. Rose is the middle note, and I can definitely smell the rose and the violet. Those are the middle notes with jasmine powder and cedar musk. This is uh, this is good, guys. I, if you love baby powder, this is this is a ten for me. Um, it says the nostalgic and in, instantly recognizable, which is very recognizable, scent of fresh baby powder highlighted with notes of ozone, orange blossom, and delicate flowers or delicate florals over a base of cedar and powdery musk. So that's it for um, the Midwest Winter Collection. And um, like I said, it was, a, it was a definitely a good buy. I caught it on sale when they had a sale um, for all 10 fragrances to try. And it was only three actually that I just wasn't really a fan of. But I'll tell you one that I am a fan of. And this wasn't in the collection, I just got it on my own. And that is the Spice Vanilla Cinnamon. This one right here, guys. Let me pull up the notes on this. I was reading the notes and I was like, okay, what the hell? Let me just order it. <laughs> Let me just order it because right now I'm in to the vanilla. I have a candle and a, a candle set called Vanilla Girl. And it's warm, rich, spicy, and it has hints of um, plum. It smells amazing. This spice vanilla and cinnamon smells really good. 31 reviews already and it's fairly new. I think it's fairly new. I don't know. I might be late to the game, but I think it's fairly new. Um, but definitely five stars. It's got top notes of cinnamon, vanilla, forest, clove, and spice. And tonka bean. I love tonka bean. Um, but it says it's warm, captivating, and it definitely is captivating. Blend of cinnamon and tonka spices that will leave, oh, that will elevate any setting. So I actually had that scent going on Thanksgiving. Like the my Thanksgiving candle, I always make a candle for our dinner or whatever. So I actually use this fragrance. The throw is amazing. It smells good hot. I mean, the cold throw and the hot throw is, um, smells amazing. So I would definitely, if you a spicy, vanilla, cinnamon type of girl or guy, you definitely want to get this spice vanilla. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.